The Basics of Pottery Wedging Clay Homogenize your clay Split your clay in half using the wire attached to the wedging table. Slap the two pieces of clay together on the table. By doing this, every time you split the clay, you're doubling the amount of layers your clay has. More layers, more homogenous. Do this until your clay looks like it is an even consistency throughout. Remove air bubbles. Most of your air bubbles should already be removed after the homogenizing process, but wedge the clay just to make sure. Pushing and pulling of the wedging process will remove any remaining air bubbles. Shape your clay. Smack and slap your clay into a form that resembles a ball. It doesn't have to be perfect since most of the shaping will be done on the potter's wheel. Setting up your potter's wheel. Gather your materials. You're going to need several things in order to throw with ease on the potter's wheel. Clay is obviously the first thing you're going to need. You'll need a bat to attach the clay to, a bowl of water and a sponge to keep your clay wet, wooden and plastic ribs for shaping and smoothing, and for wet trimming you'll need a needle tool and a wooden knife. Attach bat to wheel. On the underside of the bat there are two holes that will fit nicely on the two nubs on the potter's wheel. Make sure the bat fits snug on the wheel. Attach clay to bat. Make your bat damp, but not wet. Take your ball of clay and slap it in the middle of the bat. Try to get it as close to the middle as possible. This will make the centering process much easier on you. Turn on the wheel using the switch on the right side. Centering clay. Spin the wheel with the foot pedal. This is very similar to driving a car. The farther you push the pedal down, the faster your wheel is going to spin. Wet your clay continually. Keeping your clay, keeping your clay wet makes it easier to control. If clay is too dry on the wheel, it will pull and catch on your skin, causing it to be off-center. Push clay in from side and top. When centering clay, you want to hunch yourself over the wheel for maximum stability. Place your right elbow in your hip and push on the clay from the side using your body weight. At this time, use your left hand to push down on the top of the clay in a karate chopping fashion. Do this while keeping the clay wet until clay is centered and doesn't wobble anymore. You're in control, not the clay. Don't let the clay push you around. Be firm. Opening your vessel. Press your finger straight down in the middle. While the wheel is spinning, make a hole in the center of your clay using one or more of your fingers. The inside of your clay will be drier than the outside, so make sure you keep the inside of your clay wet as you create the hole. Make sure you do not make the hole all the way down to the bat. Check the thickness of the bottom. Stick your needle tool into the bottom of the hole in your clay all the way down to the bat. Place your finger on the needle tool at the depth of the bottom of the clay. The distance from the tip of your finger to the tip of the needle tool is exactly how thick your bottom is. Ideally, the bottom should be 3 eighths of an inch thick. Widen the opening to desired width. Raising the walls. Pinch slightly at the bottom. With your sponge in your right hand on the outside of the vessel and your left hand on the inside of the vessel, use your left hand as a brace and use your right hand to gently gather clay and raise it to the top of your piece. Repeat until there is no clay left to gather. Finishing touches. Green state. While the wheel is spinning, insert needle tool close to the brim. Hold the needle tool in your right hand on the outside of the vessel 
and use your left hand as a brace on the inside. Insert the needle tool underneath the lowest point of the brim. This will create a ring of clay at the top of your piece. Remove the ring and now your top is level. Straighten walls of vessel with wooden rib. Hold the wooden rib in your right hand with the curved side touching the outer wall of your piece. Have your left hand on the inside of the vessel as a brace. Press out with your left hand against the wooden rib to straighten the walls. Smooth vessel with metal or plastic rib. Hold the rib in your right hand with the curve touching the vessel. Move the rib up and down the outer wall of your piece to make the surface smooth. Remove skirt from bottom with wooden knife. If where your piece meets the bat is curved and looks like it is wearing a skirt, you need to remove that with a wooden knife. Follow the form of your piece down through the skirt to the bat. This should make a ring of clay surrounding the bottom of your piece. Remove the ring by inserting the needle tool underneath of it to separate it from the bat.